on the campus of the University of New Hampshire, we have second round NCAA tournament action. The Syracuse Orange, the reigning national champions, are looking to win back-to-back -back college cups, but standing in their way this afternoon, the eight seed in the America East regular season champions in the UNH Wildcats. We're about to get set, great crowd on hand here at Wildcats Stadium. The leaves blowing in the air, and we have some late or mid-November weather here in Durham, New Hampshire. It's a great day for soccer, and of course, great to see these two teams in action. Well, maybe five and uh, drop, take Healy back a little bit. The Wildcats playing for the first time since that loss to Brian in the America East Championship. Dangerous ball. It goes toward the net and then gets headed out, so it does set up a corner kick for UNH, but boy, that was close. Uh, that looked like that was labeled on the miss kick by the Syracuse player. And that was going to go into the far corner. Bilal Kamal off the corner kick. UNH averaging just shy of six corners per match as that one gets headed over the net and a little wide as well. Early opportunity. Isaac Heff is the one to head that ball. Point there, Pete. On the other side with the orange, you have Giorgio Kovcheski, who was the ACC co-midfielder of the year. Take Healy has it just outside the box. Golden chance for the Wildcats, and Healy scores! Tig Healy puts UNH on top early in the first half. Nice pass across to Healy. I think, look at that goalkeeper right there. He's way off his line. He's way over to the near post. And you just see it right there. There is a whole ocean on the far side. And Tig Healy puts it home. The Cats are, are finding some good space on the attack against the Orange. Trying to set up another goal already with one thanks to Tig Healy. Comes back to the middle, wraparound shot, and ends up going wide right. All back line, and we talked about Schoberg, the Sweden native, who's 6'4". Just outside the box, now crossed in. Comes back outside the 18. Here's the first shot of the afternoon from Syracuse, but it's a dribbler right into the chest of Inthera. Here comes Briggs, streaking toward the box, feeding toward the middle. Briggs gets it back. Now to Healy, who already has one goal. Tries to bend it toward the middle, headed away nicely by Makina, but it does set up a corner kick here for UNH. Their third of the afternoon. Crossed inside the box, headed right back away. Chance in the middle, shot, they score! Dylan Maxson puts the Wildcats on top 2-0. Maxson read the play and came full steam ahead at it. Watch him, here he comes, there he is right there, going straight up the gut. He took off, he read that play and attacked the ball. Shot, get it low, bounce before the keeper. Ball there, nice move to the middle, Kovcheski has it. Now chip shot outside the 18, that one goes way over the crossbar from Nate Edwards. A little dance in, the Wildcats certainly feeling themselves after the first 45 minutes. It was also striking to see on that last graphic, two shots, eight fouls for Syracuse. Yeah. But now they're moving a different way on the pitch. We'll see if things change after the break at the half. Levesque centering feed, and this one appears to go through the uprights. Start your play in the back, rotate it around the back four. There's just too many players out there for Syracuse getting in the way. Chipped inside the box, Goldman gets it on his chest, shoots and scores! Eli Goldman puts UNH on top 3-0. A long cross by the Wildcats, a little, uh, little header there, a Chester there, and Goldman stays on it. I didn't think there was any space for him to put it by the goalkeeper, but here he does. He leaks it right in there. Healy scores fourth goal of the season. He's the guy that's gotten into the action as Diaz Bonilla feeds it forward. Cross headed right back away, now toward the middle, and a right foot strike there from Felipe Diagostini goes over the crossbar. UNH knocks off the reigning defending champions. UNH beats Syracuse 3-0 here at Wildcat Stadium. And the Wildcats advance to the third round for the third time in program history.